this is Artifacts of Mars. And you're not going to believe this one. Uh, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi went to Mexico to plot with Vincente Fox, that's the president or dictator, depending on how you look at him, of Mexico. And how to defeat Trump in the election and give the presidency to Hillary Clinton. You better get the kids out of the room because I am hot. <sighs> Put this on hold, get the kids out of the room because uh, I'm likely to be a little angry here. Yeah, kids out of the room. Okay, in an exclusive interview with Washington Examiner Friday, former Mexican President Vincente Fox also said he is becoming a fan of Clinton, who he compared to former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Is he out of his mind? And he disparaged Trump's supporters as lazy, uneducated, TV-watching drunks. Can you believe this? That is a nasty, nasty person. Now, what I'm thinking is, this may be illegal. You have Nancy Pelosi working with a foreign head of state. That goddamn bitch should be in jail. This is probably illegal. She should probably go to the Iron Bar Motel. I am going to look into this, I'll tell you that much. How in the fuck can we have a U.S. congressperson working with a foreign head of state to intervene in our elections? That is, she should go to fucking jail if not for violating election law. That is sedition. That is fucking sedition. He complained that Mexico buys billions of dollar items from the United States that create 10 million American jobs, but Trump supporters still won't respect us. No, we want the border shot. This is what we want. This is what you don't get. We want you to stop sending... Uh, everyone who wants to come here over our border. We need need to wake up that system. We need to take them away from TV and drinking beer to working hard, to getting skills, getting knowledge, and then they will come along like everyone else. A media tour to promote an anti-Trump, compassionate, intelligent leadership agenda he said that he met with Pelosi at the airport in Mexico City Sunday and discussed ways he can help convince Latin American immigrants in the United States to reject Trump. What I've been saying here is, I told her, count with us, with all Mexicans, to support the Democratic Party because you've done much better in, with us than the Republican Party. So what? Uh, now Mexico gets to vote in our election. Remember what we said about, uh, what do you call it, the North American Union? We will never convince any Mexican either in the United States or in Mexico or any Latin American in the States or Latin America to f support this false prophet, he said. He repeatedly called Trump stupid and a false prophet and called on Americans to wake up and reject the Republican. Like I said, this may be, it may be illegal. It's definitely despicable. It's, well, it's sedition. Uh, Pelosi should be put, should go straight to the Iron Bar Motel. Now, she can work with the Democratic Party all she wants in the election, 
that's fine. That's politics. But when you're dealing with a, a foreign head of state and you're trying to intervene in an election, you're teaming up with a foreign head of state to intervene in our elections, that should be illegal. That's sedition as far as I'm concerned. For up to me, she would be in Huska right now, waiting trial. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out what's going on with this, because this may be illegal. If it is, even if it isn't illegal, the voters should wake up and say, okay, this stupid bitch has got to go. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, this is grossly unethical. Even if it's not illegal, it is grossly unethical. Nancy Pelosi is an unethical evil, egotistical bitch who apparently cares nothing about U.S. election law. I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, boy. The way all Alex Jones gets a hold of this. I'm Artifacts tomorrow. Thanks for watching.